Hello, my friend. Today, I am at one of the most famous restaurants in the whole world, and I guarantee that you have been there. Just maybe you haven't been to the one in China, and that is McDonald's. <laughs> this vlog, I want to show you the differences and the similarities about the McDonald's you know and love and the one here in China. The very first McDonald's to open in mainland China was in Shenzhen in the year of 1990. And believe it or not, Mickey D's was actually not the first first American fast food branch to open in China, KFC was. When the Golden Arches did come to China, it changed the game. It became an attraction as a place to taste not only the American food, but also the American culture. Although it was pricey and confusing, it was the Western food, the atmosphere, and the style of eating that attracted locals from near and far. You know, back when McDonald's first entered the Chinese market, the menu was pretty much the same as the one available in the US or Europe. But over time, McDonald's restaurants in China began to appeal to more Chinese taste buds and add some more classic Chinese flavors and dishes to the menu. These days, there are over 4,500 McDonald's all over China, and you would be hard pressed to find anyone in this country who hasn't had a Big Mac. And speaking of Big Macs, I could totally go for one right now, but it is very early in the morning and McDonald's breakfast is calling my name. Good morning. Ah, oh, I just woke up and I am getting ready to order myself some Mickey D's for breakfast. Let's take a look at the menu. I think what I'm gonna have to order is like a mix of McDonald's flavors mixed with traditional Chinese food. All right, so I have put in my order and the total has come to 31.5 RMB, which for Chinese breakfast is definitely expensive. So this is definitely a ricey Chinese breakfast. Let's eat McDonald's breakfast. All right, first I will start with my soy milk. Ooh, she's mixed steamy. It smells like powdered soy milk. <laughs> if you are a big soy milk drinker, then I think the smell definitely gives it away, whether it's fresh or powdered. But powder doesn't mean that it is not gonna be good because this is delicious. I just felt like a chill all over my body because it's cold in my apartment, but this is like instantly warmed me up. Next, let's try the morning wrap. Hash brown, the egg, sausage, the cheese, and the ketchup. This is definitely a tortilla. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. McDonald's American cheese, so plastic, so fake so unhealthy but also so delicious. The hash brown has like that layer of crispiness that just really sets off the texture that I love. Mm. Originally I thought this was small but it's like the perfect size. This tastes like something that McDonald's in America, maybe it is on the menu in America. Putting a hash brown into a, a breakfast wrap, that's so American and that's probably why I love it so much. I can't believe this is the first time I've ever ordered this. Really good. I'm about to eat the whole thing. All right, so let's try the OTL. The texture is nice. Like it's it's bread, it's fried bread, which is good. But when it's just packed with oil, I really don't see the point in eating this. <laughs> Even though I personally don't like Yo Tiao, I do think that Donald's has done a great job at recreating this iconic Chinese breakfast street food. It tastes just like the one that I have bought off the street. All right, let's try the porridge. It just smells swampy. <laughs> okay. I just don't like porridge. 
it's so watery. It's just hot water with overcooked mushy rice. I don't really taste any pickled vegetable or salted egg. I don't know, it kind of just tastes just like this cardboard. After each McDonald's meal that I eat, I'm going to rate it out of five golden arches. Based on taste, McDonald's ability to localize its flavors to Chinese taste buds, and just do I like it or not? <laughs> Chinese McDonald's breakfast didn't hit the spot like I thought that it would, but I've got high hopes for their dinner and lunch menu. So I am headed to a nearby McDonald's to chow down and try some things I've never had before. Touch to start. We can select our language, English, eat in. All right, let's take a look at the menu. Pretty standard, got Big Mac, double fish burger. I don't know why it's called double gaddis. filet of fish okay, So this is something that is very Chinese. Crispy chicken with pickled bamboo shoots, this wrap. So maybe I'll try this. Oh, I could get crispy fries or normal fries. I've never had the crispy fries before. Let's go with that. Uh, anything else I want? Let's look at the pies. Okay, here we go. Taro pie or panama pie? Taro. Let's try it. Add to my order. Okay, complete order. And my total is 40 yuan. Ah, what the fish yeah. Hey, I have got my full Chinese McDonald's meal. Let me show you guys what I've ordered. First, we've got the new crispy fries. They're not like the normal fries, they're the crispy fries. So I've never had these before. I have got a taro pie. Taro is like a type of root vegetable, kind of like a potato, and they made a pie out of it. And then I have my crispy chicken sticks mixed pickled bamboo shoots wrap. What a name. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, the classic Coca-Cola. So let's try the fries first. All right. Mm. They didn't give me any ketchup, which is kind of standard. A big difference between McDonald's in China and McDonald's in America is the ketchup situation. Usually you have to ask for ketchup and they'll give you like two small packets. There's no ketchup station like there is back at home. So these French fries have some sort of like cheesy coating on them. It kind of reminds me of like um, rallies. Yeah. Tastes like a rallies or an Arby's seasoned fry. It's quite good. But now we get into the real star of the show, which is this crispy chicken sticks mixed pickle bamboo shoots wrap. But let's open it. It looks pretty gross. <laughs> Just sat out like this. And this looks a lot like fish sticks than chicken. This is the pickled bamboo shoot. <laughs> Talk about an unexpected blast of Chinese flavors in my mouth. It doesn't look super appetizing at all, but oh, mm. so the pickled bamboo shoots. Great, good consistency, good, a nice crunch. If you've never had a pickled bamboo shoot, I would just describe it as a crunchy pickled vegetable that just takes on the flavor of whatever juice it's been pickled in. And the chicken just tastes like normal, like McDonald's chicken tenders. But I think the real star of the show is this sauce. Mm. <laughs> it has that ma la kick that has a little bit of a numbing, tingly spice to it, which is super flavorful. If you're not a fan of spicy food, don't order this because the more I eat, the spicier it is getting and I'm loving it. So we have come to the final item, my dessert, a taro pie. Taro is like, I mean, it's exactly what you see on the picture. It's like a sweet potato, but purple. Standard packaging, just like home. McDonald's in China only has two pies. We either have the taro pie or the pineapple pie. All right, first we need it up close. Let's listen to the crunch. 
Mm. It's purple. There's just no real sweetness to it. So if you just gave me this and didn't tell me what it was, I don't even think that I'd be able to figure out. I'd just be like, it's a pie with some type of fruit filling. So let's talk ratings. How many golden arches does this meal get? I mean, when we're talking about crispy chicken sticks mixed pickled bamboo shoots wrap, <laughs> it was definitely the highlight, my favorite would 100% order again. I think absolutely delicious. I'd say the pie was probably my least favorite because it just didn't really taste like anything. Do I think that McDonald's has succeeded in giving some local flavors with McDonald's flair? Absolutely yes. I think that this meal is gonna get a full five out of five golden arches because the bamboo shoot wrap was like delicious. So oh, do I like this meal? Would I buy it again? I don't think I'd buy the crispy fries again because I just prefer normal, regular, regular McDonald's french fries. This bamboo shoots wrap will 100% buy again. It is so, 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 so yummy. So overall, I'm quite pleased and very surprised at this meal. I mean, I've been living in China for four years now and never had any of these things at McDonald's. I didn't know what I was missing. I just was always sticking to my double cheeseburger or four piece chicken McNugget. But yeah, I guess it's a lesson to me to step out of the box, even at the most obvious of obvious places, Mickey D's. <laughs> To all my friends and fans who are watching, I would suggest if you ever come to China, I would definitely recommend eating more local food, supporting small businesses, and actually trying authentic Chinese food. But if you are overwhelmed by the immense food culture that is China, and you're just hungry, and you're looking for a reliable meal, McDonald's is definitely it.